<clears throat> hey. So, this past week has been kind of wacky. And some of the stuff I can't really talk about, you know, but but I, I was at a party on Monday, and uh, it was kind of a funny affair, but uh, I ate a corn chip, like a tortilla chip, and it scraped the inside of my gums. Now, I, I didn't think much of it. I was like, ow! But then that was, you know, I didn't think about it for a couple of days. And then, um, not yesterday, but the day before I was going home, I was driving home from work, and it's like my, my lower teeth were just hurting, just hurting, the opposite side from where I got dental work. And I was literally hunched over going, oh, oh, get home, get home, get home. Um, earlier that day, it had been sore, but I switched with this uh, mouthwash I have. It, it's a mix of Listerine, and then I had another one. I just mixed them together. And it was, uh, have you ever heard of Lysozyme? It's what's used in the uh, um, tattoo, like piercing industry. Uh, H2O, they have H2 Ocean. They use uh, lysozyme as their active ingredient. It's naturally in the saliva. So you know how Listerine can be like kind of hot, kind of a, a, aggressive. Well, that toned it down, but it had extra lysozyme then. So anyway, it seemed to work well. Used it once during the day, didn't feel bad. But then on the way home, I was just like, ouch. And I got home. Oh yeah, you know, actually the night before it started hurting in my sleep and I, it kind of, I got this headache up here. It was down here, but I got this headache up here and I just wasn't sleeping that well and I didn't know what was what. So I used the, my water pick that next morning and then like I say, I used the Listerine mix once and then on the way home it was just hurting. And I got home and I thought, well, you know what that was? That was that corn chip. And I was wondering maybe I'd gotten a piece lodged in my gum without knowing, because I, when, it wasn't like a normal like it was like, it was like, ouch, like I bit on it sideways or something. And, uh, and I got home and I went to use my water pick to really give it a good go over and it stopped working. My water pick stopped working and it was kind of late at that point. And, uh, and so I, I ended up not sleeping at all. Not last night, but the night before I was laying in bed with a headache and my gums just, my, my teeth, but it was the gums just hurting. And so like I had the Listerine by my, this was a blue Listerine by my bed and like a spittoon cup and literally every half hour or so I'd wake up and swish because it'd give me some relief for a little while and then it hurt again. So I think it got a little infection somehow, but then that would just kind of keep it a bit. But then the next morning, like 6 a.m. I went to Walmart by my house and bought a new water pick. It was like $70, but my last one lasted like 15 years. So I figured, well, whatever. And then it's way nicer. Like the new ones are nice, nicer. And so I brought it home and I used it. I think I saw something fall out. Like like maybe I did have a piece of chip lodged in my gum. And it's kind of a weird thing because like years ago I was chewing popcorn and a piece of the kernel, just the kernel, got like that little paper thin spiky part, you know, or the, anyway, it got lodged in my gum. And oh, I couldn't get that thing out for anything. I don't think I had a water pick at that time, but I, after a while, I was just like, well, I guess whatever. It was kind of bothering me, but it didn't hurt. Well, the thing moved through my gum. Literally, after several weeks, it was poking out the side. And it, was kind of, it wasn't it was comfortable, but it was so satisfying to pull it out. I was like, oh, thank you. But that was just that little thin thing. And I thought, oh, man, if it's a whole hunk of a tortilla chip, that would really mess up my gum if it migrated through. So I was so thankful that I got it out. But then, um, so that was not last night but the night before I didn't sleep at all so I got to work and I was uh, I was still I wasn't how can I say after I used the water pick and I'd swish all night I uh, continued to swish here with that other Listerine uh, lysozyme mix and uh, by the end of the day it felt a lot better and if I didn't uh, as long as I wasn't drinking any coffee or tea or eating any food it felt fine but if I did it took about a half hour before it calmed down and feel good again so late I didn't eat anything I didn't really I I drank a little bit of a hibiscus tea, but even then, not much. And then I switched with this other uh, mouthwash I have with a bunch of herbal stuff in it. And uh, I took a big dose of kratom, like a good heaping tablespoon, eh, probably mildly heaping tablespoon of a red. And I slept hard. I woke up at 8, and I was just like, oh, man. Well, I woke up a little bit before 8, but I just like basically laid right back down. And then after 8, I got up. 
and I put on a video on uh, YouTube. We have YouTube. My roommate got Roku thing, so we get YouTube on the TV. And I was watching this thing about water and uh, sunlight and uh, sulfate. I don't know, some TEDx thing. It was real fascinating. But I was sitting kind of like this, kind of like there was a something on, there was a pillow there on the couch, and I was just sitting sideways a little bit. I stood up, and my upper back started hurting. Like, it's hurt there before. It's not a real common thing, so I know it goes away, but it, it was also something I couldn't just pop. Like, usually I can pretty much pop every part of my body. So most of the day today, my gums didn't hurt, but I didn't really eat much. Uh, but I continue to swish, and I have the water pick here at work. I was using that regularly with some uh, hydrogen peroxide. And, and uh, But, oh, I was trying to do some yoga or something to pop that, and it just wasn't working out, wasn't working out exactly. And without going into too much detail, I had this uh, sneaking suspicion that there was a, a group doing some uh, kind of disruptive magic upon me recently. It's not something I usually deal with, but I've had to deal with it before. So I was, I, I kind of, you know, dealt with it, I thought. But then today, um, that all went on. And then I sat funny over here. Or I, you know, I was just sitting there. I stood up and then my lower spine was hurting. I'm like, okay, this is too much. So I put my mind into it again. And it seemed like, indeed, there was something going on. And I, to make a short story, I took charge of this. De uh, demon thing, if you will, and was like, come on, like, just what? Like, can't you get these people to leave me alone? Like, how is this even a thing? Why are they, it's like, I feel like a, you know, like, if a five-year-old was kicking your shin, it's like, you don't want to hurt the kid, but like, after a while, it's like, get the fuck away from me, you know? Anyway, so, I dealt with that, and then, all right, I started dealing with it, and I was just like, ah, and then, um, I, I, I asked, this deity, if uh, if there was some other being that could sort of give me a, a global protection from this group, and uh, it seemed to point one out, and I in my mind's thought I checked with Kali, and Kali was like, "Yeah, do it. so I did this, and it was it was kind of spooky, remarkable. This thing proceeds to just basically unleash Armageddon upon, which might be just figments of my inner realm, but. It's 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 kind of interesting because like I mean I was dealing with that neck thing pretty much all day I mean like I was trying to pop it but it would hurt like if I laid the flat on the ground it hurt so I kind of had to turn my head like this and I know enough to how to explore and get that stuff worked out but it just wasn't working out I mean I wasn't panicked but like there's a party tonight I want to be relaxed have a good time I don't want my mouth hurting my neck hurting my fucking tailbone hurting like I was like it was just too much you know I was like you know, maybe something is going on here. So, like I said, I put my mind to it. They, he alerted me to this other DNA. I checked, and Kali said, yeah, I'll do it. So this thing just went and just, like, essentially put things in order. But in the process, got, like, this bowl of energy. I don't remember which color it was, but offered it to Kali. And Kali said, open up, kind of like, being, poured it into me. And then he did that again, with, and that one was like blue. And then the third, he did that with the third bowl, it was like rainbow. And I was like, oh, that's neat. But it didn't seem to, I, I didn't experience any direct result, you know, uh, so to speak. But I was like, oh, well, that's good, you know. And then something else, oh, no, that was before the tailbone. So then I was sitting for a minute, and this is all within like five minutes, this whole thing. And then, so I was sitting with my, uh, over on this chair over here, and, or I guess it's that chair right there. So comfortable, he's it sideways. Too comfortable to get rid of. But anyway, so I stood up and then my tailbone was hit, hurting a little bit. And I went to pop it. And it seemed to pop, but it was still sore. And I'm like, okay, this is... Yeah, I put my mind into it again. It seemed like there was some other thing. So the same being kind of did the same thing with these three bowls. But the first bowl, it was off to Kali. And Kali, literally, as soon as Kali poured it into me, my neck popped. Pop. I was like, oh, that was it. Yeah. So it was kind of the timing was unique, you know. Like gave me some sort of thing but I feel like after this whole thing I feel like uh, I, f I feel protected on a whole new level and like I know this is just kind of weird to hear people talking about this stuff because like I really don't talk about this stuff usually with people but in so many ways people on the internet are strangers <laughs> at least in theory but I saw this whole this being force this whole group essentially to to sign a, a, like it was in my mind's eye, unrolled this big parchment thing and signed this pledge to protect me, essentially. 
you know, these people who would have been my adversaries. Now, this all may be just absolute fantasy. Like, if there's a problem, fantasizing in some sort of reason that there's a problem, it must be some <laughs> hocus pocus wish, hocus pocus witchcraft. But really, after that, my neck feels good. My tailbone feels completely good. Doesn't I don't feel that at all, and uh, I don't have any headaches, and my gums feel totally great. So, like, after it, it was like there was something there, you know. I try not to imagine into things. I try to. It's a delicate balance, you know. If you're if you're perceiving through your mind, it's through the vehicle of your mind. And so the fact is, is there's this delicate balance of, am I, you don't want to fantasize this stuff into reality, but at the same time, you don't want to be so dense that you're unwilling to perceive. So it's sort of like you extend a little bit and, you know, you have this crossover, if you will, like your conscience or consciousness is... Uh, Anyway, man, or lady, whoever whoever you are, have a great day, and may you have the great protection of the super deity. I feel like it's a real tragedy in this modern world that people are so prone to be like disbelieving of God, when for me it's like, it's reality. I don't try and sell it to anybody, and I, I pretty much think everybody's right, so even if they don't believe in God, they believe in things that I think are accurate to some in some way but you know it's in a lot of ways it's easier if you're just surrendered to God and you don't have to get into the whole mojo mojo things the more the more power you take upon yourself the more responsibility you have at least that's my belief and I, I wouldn't trade it but at the same time I don't know if I knew where I am where I've come along the path if I would choose it again but anyway, God bless you